It's been a chaotic and frightening night at Carolina Place Mall in Pineville. Shoppers run and hide after an initial report of shots fired. They were hiding behind the register. Um, everybody else was like just running in. The good news at this hour, we've learned there is no evidence of a shooting and no one is hurt. Thank you for joining us on this Christmas Eve. I'm Fred Shropshire. We have team coverage tonight as police continue their investigation. Let's start with Lana Harris, who was live at the mall with new information from police. Lana. Good evening. So police did wrap up the scene here a few hours ago, but this is still under investigation and it's an interesting scenario here. We're told that one second this place was packed with families who were doing their last minute shopping for their loved ones. And the next second it was chaos. People scattered. People told us they were terrified. And yet police say they have not found any evidence that any gunshots were ever fired here. Tonight we received uh, multiple calls about shots being fired inside the Carolina Place Mall. Lieutenant Corey Copley with the Pineville Police Department says when the calls came in, the mall was packed. It's Christmas Eve. Everybody's out doing some last minute shopping. It was very, very busy. Hundreds of police officers rushed to the mall, believing an active shooter may have been firing inside. With, you know, our line of work, when we have when we face an encounter like that, we always want to treat it the worst case scenario. So we treat it like an active shooter situation until we can deem otherwise. As people scrambled to get out, officials set up a reunification spot for families to find each other. Nobody is missing. Everyone has been reunited. Then officers went through the entire mall, section by section, searching for a potential shooter. Dressing rooms, bathrooms, underneath clothing racks, just anywhere and everywhere. Lieutenant Copley says officers didn't have a place to start because of how the calls came in. We received anywhere from a dozen to 18 911 calls, all from cell phones. Uh, so we really couldn't exactly pinpoint where inside the mall. After searching the entire mall, police found no suspect, no victims, and no evidence there had ever been gunfire. Every one of those calls was they heard, they heard gunshots. Now, Lieutenant Copley says officials are working to find out exactly what they heard that sent families fleeing. We just have to, um, you know, come as we're called and, and do our job and get, get to the bottom of it. Now, as you may imagine, there are cameras all over the mall and officials say that they are going to be looking through them to see exactly what those gunfire noises were and exactly where in the mall it happened. But again, they're just thankful that there were no victims and no injuries here. Here in Pineville, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Lana, thank you. And as you just heard from Lana's report, the mall was crowded with shoppers getting last minute Christmas Eve gifts. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner spoke to shoppers who described the sights and sounds of fear. Shoppers tell us it was a mixture of the adrenaline pumping as well as fear and shock that this would happen on Christmas Eve. And there's more sirens. Why are there more sirens? The last minute holiday shopping rush. I'm sitting downstairs talking with some friends and all of a sudden. Ends with shoppers running for their lives. Once I saw the whole crowd, everybody started shifting back and started running. This family from Pennsylvania says they were inside Carolina Place Mall when they saw two people arguing. And the and guy then, started screaming at the other guy. He and was then like, a bunch you know it's about to be popping or whatever. He went away. And then... Pops. It wasn't just one time. I mean, that it kept going. People tell us it sounded like gunshots, but police aren't sure if they actually were gunshots, but no one was waiting to find out. As officers sped over to the mall, cashiers ringing up customers raced into action. And the guy that the working at the store, he grabbed his all and put it behind the counter and got on top of all of us. Other workers left their hiding spots to help customers. I came back out to get a family and then the police that came in and told us to come downstairs. After everyone evacuated, police say they found no one injured except holiday cheer turning to tears. I mean, I it's supposed to be Christmas, a peaceful time of the year where everybody's supposed to be together with their family. In Pineville, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Well,